Today we're talking about one of the most common questions I get when I talk to loan officers about running live events, and that's how do you actually get realtors to show up? I'm gonna show you one of our secrets right now. I'm glad that you're here. I'm Nick Carpenter, welcome back to the channel. Make sure that you already hit that like, subscribe button, and drop me a comment. Let me know what's a question I could answer for you on the next video. Today we're talking about one way we fill live events, okay? And this is something that people really, I don't think I've ever heard anybody talk about this before, but it's one of the things that if you do this, you'll have way more buy-in from realtors where they're actually excited about your event and almost think it's their idea for you to do it versus if you just randomly come out with an idea that you're gonna host this class that nobody asked for and nobody cares about or is excited about except for you and then now you've got to go get everybody excited so it's kind of like how do we pre-sell the idea or how do we convince realtors it's their idea to host this class or to teach them the thing that they're asking about right so we we kind of got to like do a little reverse psychology so let's just jump into it i'm going to show you exactly how we're doing this all right, so the basic idea here is we're going to make a series of four posts on social media in order to get realtors convinced that the class we want to host or the event that we want to do is actually their idea, right? So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, and obviously this has to be done on the back of you getting some cool result, talking about something awesome on Facebook, obviously like generating leads or getting videos on YouTube or some of these kind of things, you know, just like little small things you can go do, then you can go talk about that and realtors are going to be like, yo, how did you do that? What, what, what does that mean? Tell me more about that post. So then, you know, kind of that's going to be like the lead up, right? Is you kind of talking about what you're doing just to create some curiosity. And then you're going to make a post that's like, hey, I'm thinking about doing this class. I don't know if that's something you care about. Like if that's something you might attend, if I taught you how I'm generating leads for a dollar a piece on Facebook, would you want to attend that class? Drop me a GIF in the comments and let me know. And obviously I'm pointing because I'm on video now, but in your case, this can work fine as just a text post, right? It doesn't need to be a video, uh, nothing too fancy. It's just like, hey, people have been asking me how I'm generating leads for a dollar, like what I talked about last week. So I'm thinking about maybe like doing a little class and showing people what I did, you know, how I'm doing this, is that, is that something you'd want to come to? Drop a gift, let me know if you'd attend that class, All right? So we want to get people excited about it. Now, bonus tip or a little sidebar tip here is when you do this kind of post where you want people to drop gifts or you're looking for engagement, you're trying to force engagement, go and send that post to some friends, share it with some friends, or just ask, just send them a private message and go, hey, jump over to my last post and drop me some love on that. So that, that way, by the time it gets in the newsfeed and realtors start seeing it, it already has three, four, five, ten interactions on the post. It already looks cool. It looks safe. This is what all the cool people are doing. We're all interacting on Nick's post. And now you get more buy-in, right? Nobody wants to be like the first. We want to see that it's already cool and that this is what people are doing. So uh, if you can have your friends do that, definitely helpful. So that'd be the first post you want to make is, hey, I'm thinking about doing this. Is that something you'd care about? Let me know. All right, the second post is going to be a where are we going to do this at post. So it's going to be like, all right, wow, man, it seems like people want to, want to know how I'm generating these leads for a couple bucks. Where is a good place to host this? Where would you where do you think I should host this at? You know, tag tag a title company that has a great training room or a local business that has a space I can use. You know, where do you think would be a good spot for this? Right? And again, we're just doing this, we just want to get buy-in, okay? We don't want to come out with our idea. We want to get everybody else to feel like they're contributing and we're doing this because they want it. So now we're going to let them tag their favorite title company, tag their favorite bar, restaurant, coffee shop, co-working spaces, these kind of things. And, um, and again, we're just getting some curiosity. I, hopefully by this point, you already actually know where you're going to do the event. But if not, then now you can pick a place because everybody's going to tell you You'll probably get some title reps that private message you and try to create conversation that way. Um, so that's going to be your second post. Either, you know, it can be like hours after the first post or maybe even the next day, 
you can make a post like this. All right, so the third day, the third post is going to be basically like a wow post. Like, man, I cannot even believe that people are this curious about what I did and like I'm getting so much interest. This is awesome. So, you know, okay, I'm trying to put it all together and, and I'll let you know if I decide that I'm going to do this. But, man, I'm really honored and excited about all the uh, interest that's that's come up from it. So that's going to be kind of like your third post, right? It's not going to be nearly as much engagement. It's just like acknowledging that you're getting a ton of response. A lot is happening in private message. It's not even just what you're seeing out publicly. I'm getting like a lot of people messaging me about where I should host this at and asking me questions about what I'm doing and stuff. So um, just wanted to tell you, man, thank you so much for everybody wanting to do this and, you know, for giving your input. I really appreciate it. All right, then the last post, the fourth post is going to be, well, I guess we're doing this or like, all right, we're doing this. And that's it, right? It's just going to be the, a culmination of those things. So it's like, man, I asked you guys a few days ago if you wanted to, you know, if I taught a little class maybe and showed you what I'm doing on, on how I got my first video to rank on Google page one or how I'm generating $3 leads. I, you know, I asked if you'd be interested in that. And so many people put gifts and sent me private messages and, you know, um, gave great suggestions of where we should host this at. So, man, we're doing it. It's going to be on this date, at this time, at this location. And that's it, right? Then we go into announcing that the actual event is happening. So when you announce the event, what's great is if you already have the Facebook event set up on your business page and you can start promoting the Facebook event. So that way people are clicking over to there, clicking on going and, and that sort of stuff, right? So that series of four Facebook posts, I mean, primarily what I'm talking about now is just personal posts on your Facebook profile. Um, it's, just a, it's just one way that we fill rooms with realtors whenever we're doing live events. And, and you can too, right? I mean, is by this, most people, again, like we talked about in the very beginning, most people decide they want to host a class and they just come out with it. And now we've got to go, you know, we're like all excited going 100 miles and everybody else is at zero because they don't even know about it. But if we can kind of tease it out over the course of three, four days or whatever, and then we start actually going into full promotion, now we have a lot more buy-in because they've already kind of heard of the idea. They sort of have an idea that this is going to happen. So now as soon as you announce it, you've got more people excited about it. So try that next time you're going to do an event where you're doing something with realtors is kind of tease them with the idea and ask them questions that really you probably already know the answer to, which is like, yeah, of course they're going to come. And you already know where a great location is, but we just get their involvement a little bit and, and it's like we got their interest, we get their eyeballs, and now whenever we announce the event, it's much more easier to get people to actually click on that going and then show up, right? So hopefully that's helpful for you on live events. Hey, look, I love doing live events with realtors. I think it's the fastest way to grow your mortgage business and the smartest use of your time. In fact, I can show you how to replace 240 cold calls that most people are going to teach you to do on Mondays with one little one hour live event you can host once a month okay we'll give you the class to teach all the material you need around it and how to convert at least 15 percent of realtors who show up into referral partner so if that's interesting to you click the link that's right around here check out the legion of loan officers and uh, again thank you for being here share this video with a friend and make sure you click that like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one peace